Something moved during the night at the Rail Giants train museum. The workers showed up at dawn expecting another routine shift. Walk the grounds, check the displays, lock up, go home. They found a disaster instead. Santa Fe 3450 was off the rails. A massive locomotive just sitting there with wheels buried in California dirt shoved completely off the temporary tracks. Behind it stood Big Boy 4014, 600 tons of dead steel that had not run since 1961. No fire burning, no crew aboard, nothing operational. But the tracks screamed the truth. Fresh gouges in the dirt, bent steel rails, splintered wooden supports. Both locomotives had traveled 15 feet overnight while the fairgrounds sat locked and empty. Big Boy's boiler was ice cold. Yet this dead machine had crawled forward through the darkness and pushed another train off the tracks. Pomona, California, 1990. This actually happened. January 1962. Big Boy 4014 arrives at the Los Angeles County Fairgrounds after Union Pacific retires it. 20 years hauling freight through the Wasatch Mountains. Over a million miles between Wyoming and Utah on grades that destroyed lesser machines. Union Pacific donates it to the Railway and Locomotive Historical Society. They park it next to Santa Fe 3450. Two giants from different eras become museum pieces. They sit together peacefully for 28 years while visitors take photos and railroad fans make pilgrimages. Late 1980s, the museum reorganizes. They need to move the entire collection from behind the horse barns to better display space near the parking lot. That means moving Big Boy 4014, all 132 feet of it, 600 tons empty. When fully loaded with fuel and water, 1.2 million pounds total. The crew lays temporary track panels across the fairgrounds. Simple plan. Roll Big Boy 4014 from the old location to the new spot. They start moving it during daylight. Problems hit immediately. Big Boy rolls way too easily for something weighing 600 tons. Museum volunteers spent decades maintaining it for display. Oiled bearings, greased components, everything kept in perfect condition, which means everything moves smoothly. Way too smoothly. The locomotive picks up speed. 600 tons gains momentum fast. The crew scrambles but cannot stop it. Physics wins. Big Boy crashes into the tender of Santa Fe Locomotive 3450. The impact echoes across the fairgrounds. Both machines lock together in an unplanned couple. Late afternoon, shadows getting long. The crew makes a decision. Separating two massive locked locomotives needs proper equipment and proper daylight. They secure the scene, lock the gates, and head home. They plan to return tomorrow with the right tools. The fairgrounds empty completely. Night falls over Pomona. The two locomotives stand alone in total darkness. Big Boy starts creeping forward. The temporary tracks were not level. Laying rails across uneven fairground terrain guarantees slopes exist, maybe just a fraction of a degree, barely visible in daylight. But 600 tons on well-oiled bearings makes even tiny slopes dangerous. Gravity does not negotiate. Big Boy slides forward through the darkness, millimeter by millimeter. Santa Fe 3450 has no option except moving with it since they are locked together. The track sections groan under forces they were not built to resist. Big Boy keeps sliding forward, hour after hour through the night. Nobody there witnessing it, nobody hearing the metal on metal sounds. Gravity doing its work patiently. Hours pass in darkness. Big Boy pushes. Santa Fe rolls ahead, moving further down the temporary rails. Wood cracks under pressure. Steel bends slowly under relentless weight. The far end finally gives up. Santa Fe rolls right off the edge. Wheels leave steel and hit dirt. The locomotive tilts hard and sinks into soft California ground. That stops Big Boy cold. The Santa Fe buried in dirt creates enough resistance to beat gravity's pull. Morning arrives. The crew returns ready to handle the separation work properly. They walk into the display area and freeze. Santa Fe sits off the rails, wheels buried deep. Big Boy stands there 15 feet further than where they left it yesterday. Both locomotives remain cold and dead, 
but they are nowhere near where the crew secured them. The workers circle both machines, checking everything. Big Boy's boiler shows zero heat. The firebox sits empty and cold as stone. No steam anywhere. No power source they can identify. The temporary tracks tell the real story. Bent rails everywhere, twisted supports, clear evidence of massive sustained force applied over many hours. The explanation takes time to piece together. Someone spots the slight slope in the tracks. Another realizes the bearings are pristine from years of maintenance. Then it clicks. Gravity working on that slope. 600 tons of mass creating unstoppable momentum. Hours of steady pressure in total darkness. The mechanics make perfect sense. The physics checks out completely. Standing there looking at what happened still feels deeply wrong though. They spend the next several days repositioning both locomotives. Heavy equipment is brought in. Cranes, specialized movers, careful coordinated work. Neither locomotive suffered catastrophic damage. Big Boy's front end remained structurally solid. Santa Fe's tender absorbed the impact and survived. The incident becomes immediate legend. Museum staff start telling visitors. Railroad historians document it thoroughly. Anyone tasked with moving massive historic locomotives hears about Pomona 1990. The night Big Boy moved itself without any crew or power. Big Boy sits at the museum another 23 years. Just another static display. A monument to the steam era. Something for tourists to photograph on weekends. Then 2013 changes everything. Union Pacific approaches the museum with an unexpected proposal. They want Big Boy back. Not for scrap. Not for another museum. They want to restore it completely, make it operational again, bring it back to life. The Railway and Locomotive Historical Society agrees after consideration. Big Boy gets a second chance, November 2013. Big Boy 4014 starts its journey back to Cheyenne, Wyoming. Back to Union Pacific Steam Shop where historic locomotives get restored. Moving it across the fairgrounds parking lot happens extremely carefully this time. Everyone remembers what Big Boy did last time it rolled on temporary tracks. Extra precautions everywhere. Better equipment. Constant monitoring. Big Boy reaches the Metrolink tracks without incident. Diesel locomotives pull it carefully westward through Colton, California, across the desert in Nevada, up through Utah, and finally into Wyoming. May 2014. Big Boy arrives at the Union Pacific Steam Shop in Cheyenne. Real restoration work begins. Ed Dickens leads the steam crew through five years of intense restoration. Systematic, painstaking work. They disassemble parts that have been untouched since 1961. Everything is inspected, measured, and tested. Some components can be refurbished. Others need complete replacement. Nobody manufactures big boy parts anymore. The last one rolled off the line in 1944. Union Pacific must custom fabricate components, machining parts from scratch, and use modern manufacturing to follow 80-year-old specifications exactly. They convert the firebox from coal to oil for cleaner burning and easier management. They upgrade safety systems and install positive train control. They add monitoring equipment, and they completely overhaul the boiler. The crew pulls every tube, checks every fitting, and verifies every seal. Running 300 pounds of steam pressure through a vessel this large leaves zero room for mistakes. Thousands of hours invested, millions of dollars spent. April 2019. Big Boy lights its firebox after 60 years. Flames roar, water heats up, steam builds, pressure climbs. The giant comes alive. May 2, 2019. First test run happens. Big Boy moves under its own power after 58 years of silence. May 4, 2019. First excursion run. Big Boy heads to Ogden, Utah for the Transcontinental Railroad's 150th anniversary celebration. Big Boy is back. Operating. Alive again. Since restoration, over 21,000 miles logged across Union Pacific's network. About 7,000 miles per year stopping in towns and cities, letting people experience history moving. Hear it breathing, feel the ground shake as 600 tons of 1941 technology thunders past. June 2023, a freight train stalls on Blair Hill, Nebraska. Mechanical problems. It can't get moving on the steep grade. 
big boy couples onto the road. 7,000 horsepower of steam pushes that modern freight up and over the hill. The locomotive that moved itself in 1990 now deliberately moves other trains. In September 2024, Jay Leno rides in Big Boy's cab through Iowa, filming an episode for his show. Even he is impressed. Union Pacific Chief Executive Officer announces ambitious plans for 2026. Big Boy might make its first tour, a coast-to-coast -coast run for America's 250th anniversary. Back in Pomona, Santa Fe 3450 still sits at Rail Giants Museum. No visible scars, just another display. Visitors walk past without knowing the story. But Santa Fe knows what happens when Big Boy decides to move in the darkness. The 1990 incident remains 